Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Built to Build. Today I'll be introducing y'all to another project I've been working on. I imagine not many of you have seen one of these before. Uh, they're pretty rare, especially this older version. It's a 1964 FiberFab Aztec GT. Uh, FiberFab was a company that made kit cars from the mid-60s all the way up to the early 80s. There's a later version of this car that has a longer nose and more cut off rear end. Um, they're gorgeous, but uh, this older version really does it for me. Uh, it looks like a mashup of the original Ford GT40 and a Porsche 904. Uh, these cars are based on the Beetle drivetrain. On the original Beetle, you could just unbolt the body, set it to the side, and put it on a new body. Not quite that simple, but pretty close. This one uses a 1963 Beetle chassis. Now, a stock Beetle with a steel body weighs about 1,600 pounds. This one is a lot lighter. I'm guessing around 1,200 pounds. So it doesn't take a lot of horsepower to get it going. In 1963, the Beetle came with a whopping 40 horsepower, 1,200cc motor. This one has a really nice built 1835cc motor, which is probably putting out I'd say 85 to 95 ish horsepower moves along pretty good and goes much faster than I feel safe in a car that's really this low. Uh, one of the most unique features of this car is my least favorite thing about it though. Uh, you may have noticed it doesn't have doors. The whole top raises up. I'm sure some love this and I guess on a car this old it has some quirky charm but it's awkward. Uh, that is probably why the previous owner cut the roof. Uh, the car is so low it's pretty easy for me to get in and out of buggy style anyway. Looking at it, uh, the car obviously needs some work. Paint, body, uh, new windshield seal, rear glass, interior, and wiring are some of the major things. Um, so I'm going to be doing working on those over the next few weeks actually uses a uh, 63 to 67 Corvette windshield. I've ordered some really cool seats for it. The interior is going to look really nice when I get through with it. Here I am uh, measuring the height of the vehicle. It comes out to right at 41 and a half inches. But if you'll notice the Lexus behind it, it has ground clearance of about five and a half inches. I measured from the concrete to the pan on, on the kit car and it is six inches. So really it probably should sit about an inch lower at least. Pretty easy to climb in and out of. As I said before, that's how I'm, I'm planning on doing it. Not fiddling with the uh, clamshell roof opening. So that's Project Flying Low. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy it and want to see this and my other projects progress, please subscribe and turn on notifications.